expect teams to be agile, uh, though we just click our fingers and and they become agile, just uh, wave, that ma- wave that magic wand and everything will be great. And all they need to do is get faster. Uh, but there is a ceiling that teams hit, uh, particularly if they work with other teams, but even on their own, even a team on its own, they will eventually hit a ceiling because there are some constraints in the organization that are preventing them from being as agile as maybe they need to be. Uh, for example, maybe uh, people are competing against each other individually because the way they get reviewed by the organization for annual performance is actually uh, based on you know what you did against your individual objectives instead of team objectives. Or there could be some dysfunction, uh, some problem that's been there for years and uh, nobody's worked on it and everybody just accepted this was the kind of part of the furniture and that's actually when apathy kicks in and so we need agile leaders to work on problems that are beyond the control influence of the team scrum masters can do that as well of course but managers often have more control more power uh managers tend to be more operational uh, running the operation and so on leaders tend to be more about how do we how do we help leadership to be something without necessarily having a leadership position? Uh, how can you create leaders at all levels? How can you be a backstage leader instead of being at the front? That's uh, the essence of the answer for me. Mm-hmm.